Are you selling in the EU market and not able to calculate your profits accurately? Is VAT giving you headaches when setting up your listings? What about EFN? In our latest update, you don't need to worry any longer about these. And don't worry if you're not selling in the EU yet, there's more new features to here to help you reprice faster. Join us today to take a look at everything new. Check it out. The first main feature within this update is we have added VAT settings to our repricer. This VAT update is available for UK, Germany, Spain, France, and Italy marketplaces. With this new update, you will be able to calculate your profit accurately when setting your min and max prices using different VAT settings. Previously, you had to manually calculate your VAT when setting your listings in BQL in order to accurately calculate your profit for each listing. Now with VAT settings baked in, you simply set up your VAT amount depending on the size of your business and whether your goods qualify at a reduced rate. Here in the drop-down menu, you can see there are five options, which are not applicable, not registered, flat rate, standard rate, and reduced rate. Samuel, could you help us to tell about the differences in each of these options? Sure, the first setting is not applicable. This means that the products is selling at zero rated. When not applicable is selected with no number input, the system will default this as 0%. The second setting is not registered. If the business turnover is less than the VAT registration threshold of the country, you can select not registered in the VAT settings. Take the UK, for example. It is not necessary for sellers to register for VAT if their turnover is less than 85,000 pounds. Customers need to input the VAT rate because even though there is no need for sellers to pay VAT on their sales price, they need to pay VAT on Amazon-relevant fees such as the Amazon referral fee, closing fees, FBA fulfillment fees. It's good to know that our system supports the input value up to two decimal places, and when the no value is inputted, the value is set at zero. You can follow the formula for FBA, which is adding the Amazon referral fees, plus closing fees, plus the FBA fulfillment fees, and times the not registered percentage. The third setting is flat rate. The VAT flat rate scheme is a way of paying VAT whereby a business pays a fixed percentage of annual turnover. The formula is price times the flat rate percent. Take the UK, for example. To join the flat rate scheme, customers' VAT turnover must be 150,000 pounds or less, excluding VAT, and its flat rate is 7.5%. The fourth setting is standard rate. Standard VAT rate varies in different countries. You need to tick either VAT on sale or VAT on cost. These two options are ticked by default. VAT on sale, also known as output VAT, means that the sellers calculate the VAT and charge it at the sale price, which buyers need to pay when purchasing the products. VAT on cost, known as input VAT, means that the sellers can reclaim the VAT they have already paid on the purchase of goods after the products are sold. The fifth setting is reduced rate. Reduced rate is applied to certain products and varies in different countries. You could see a table with examples of the rate and the categories. These settings can be applied in bulk actions or general settings to apply to multiple listings at one. Or you can apply individually if the product might have a reduced VAT rate. For standard and reduced rate, you could also set as VAT on sale and VAT on cost. So you'll be able to account for the tax that's paid on this good when it's purchased and sold, meaning you can calculate your profits and account for this additional cost. Now let's take a look at how to set that. If you click on the calculator for the min and max price, you will see that option to select VAT due for that listing. Click the drop down and choose the type and amount that applies to that product and hit the refresh button. And you can see your profit, margin and ROI. Alternatively, you can also set this from bulk actions or from general settings by clicking on this and selecting set VAT. The next new feature allows you to mark listings as EFN or European Fulfillment Network. What this does is if a seller has stores in the UK, Germany, Spain, France, or Italy, he or she can store all their inventory in an Amazon UK fulfillment center, for example, and can fulfill orders coming from other European marketplaces from the same local inventory pool. What it means is when a German buyer places an order on Amazon Germany, the seller can fulfill orders from the Amazon UK fulfillment instead of storing inventory in Germany. Like the VAT settings, you will need to enable this for the products that it applies to. If you're not following along, you can click on actions on each individual product and mark it as AFN. You could also select all the products in the bulk settings, click on mark as EFN, and you will now see an EFN icon appear under the product name. 
Now, when you click on the profit calculator, you will see that the FBA fulfillment fees EFN will now be shown and calculated into your pricing. Marking listings as EFN can also be enabled in general settings to mark all new listings imported from Amazon Seller Central as EFN. The third and final feature that we've included in this update is something that's been requested by a lot of our customers and partners out there. And now we also add the option to choose the amount adjusted to set your min, max, and cost for your listings when you choose bulk action or general settings. So you'll click on the bulk action and set min and max price and rule. And now you'll see that you can set your prices by plus minus the criteria you choose. And now you can set this by the dollar amount. Same can be done by clicking on the general settings. This is really useful for people who didn't use the RI or profit percentage features before and would prefer to set their min and max based on a dollar amount in order to guarantee that they are making enough profit on their listings, especially with less expensive products. Now, generally the rule of thumb is if you want to try to get 20 to 40% ROI on most of your listings, but if you're mostly sourcing products that are like a dollar, you wouldn't want to only get 40% profit on those. Right, and that's where this feature comes in handy because you can quickly set the min and max for all these products and avoid having your products priced too low. This way you can set your profits for a fixed amount, for example, $3, and ensure you're making enough profits. That's all the new things we have included in this update for all the EU sellers out there. These new features are sure to make your life easier to calculate your costs like VAT and EFN fees. That's right, so don't miss out and take advantage of these new features. If you still haven't tried our AI repricer, that is a good opportunity to try it now. We have hundreds of happy reviews from people who tried it and increased their sales right away. Check the link in the description below to start a 14-day free trial. And there's no credit card required, so you have nothing to lose. Try it now. See you soon with more new updates to make your repricing easier than ever.